They call Angerston the crown of the Barossa and you can see why when we walk around the town and we'll head around there but we're going down this uh, tourist footpath that the council have put together which looks quite nice. It takes you through the, they're making this uh, creek here, riverway and uh, you can see the vines up here a little bit of breeze this morning but uh, a nice little park you see the trees and the old building up there and we're going to cross that bridge very soon but beautiful spot and that's one of the reasons why I love the Barossa and I think people all around the world do here in South Australia it's a wonderful spot with uh, a bit of romance, a bit of heritage, some old classic buildings, early German settlers, British settlers, and so on. But some amazing sites like that old classic house here, which is a shop in the back there, and the bank in the background. Just beautiful. Sit amongst these beautiful trees as well. So really nice. And across this bridge, see where we end up. This water's looking a bit stagnant though. Look at this. This is looking a bit a bit rough. I wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to fall in that one. Not sure what that pole is in there. There's a crisscross pole. Can't even see any frogs there. But this is his nature walk down the back of the main street. As soon as we get up to the main street you'll see a totally different feel to the place. But it's, um, but it's serene, it's peaceful, and a beautiful little township to come visit in South Australia. And the beautiful Barossa Valley. You really can't go wrong with a visit here. This is such a fantastic place. Mark my words, you will come here and find you agree with me. And if it's not just the wine tasting, it's the fresh bread, it's the fresh cheeses and delicious food. There's markets here on Saturday. Uh, that's the Angerston or Farmer's Market. And that's just down the road from here. And we're backing up onto a farm here at the back. Got a really nice setting. So most of the Barossa, about the 1860 region, 1850, 1860s, where the Germans came over from Germany and brought with them their amazing Shiraz vine, which is one of the oldest in the world because a disease killed it off in Germany later on. And so Barossa has the original, brought it on the ships, and uh, that's why they have such a wonderful harvest of Shiraz. A lovely walk back here. A really scenic walk. Let's get up onto the main street. One thing that's great about the Barossa Valley and all parts of South Australia is you find these uh, barbecues everywhere. And they're usually free. This one says 20 cents, but they're usually free. And they're absolutely everywhere in all the parks. And it makes it so practical for uh, just going out for a barbecue, grab, going down, getting some sausages or snags as they call them here and um, just heading in and um, relaxing having a barbie with your mates and here's some of these houses look at this look at these homes fantastic wow look at them beautifully put together and there's more than just uh, the same old homes look at this one here real Tudor looking uh, place. I'm on the main street just walking out of um, town and here's this look at this place. Wow look at this. Look at that it's like a winery come home. I can see the CCTV camera up on the the black dot there next to that old classic light. And then you've got the uh, really nice driveway and entrance here. Look at this pretty amazing. Across the street you've got the Lutheran Church. Now Lutheran churches there's stacks of those in the Barossa because all the Germans so a Lutheran church is pretty standard around this area. A different sort of uh, tower there, spire on it. 
and you've got north, south, east, west, which is pretty neat too. And then those amazing houses down there too as well. So, and now look at this one. This is connected to that, um, this is connected to that sort of winery, probably cars, but uh, look at this place. This is a house, everyone. This is a house. Nice fence as well. Wow. But that's a few dollars. So here we are, just going down the main street. We're going to go to the shopping area. I want to try coffee here because these people are famed for their good coffee and good food. So I'm going to try that out really soon. Oh, let's throw in a tennis court as well. Let's do that because who, knew, who doesn't need a tennis court? Especially in the heat of South Australia most of the time. It gets pretty hot here. Uh, summertime in the 40s quite commonly. So, you know, it gets pretty, pretty warm, pretty hot. So here it is. This they call pointing. See this here? Got these lines in the brick here on the stone. And these are usually double stone, so really cool. And look at it, the age you can see in it. Up the main street, just had to talk to a builder down the road there, putting together a house. And of course, there's the Lutheran, the Zion Lutheran Church. it said so it was built 2000 it cost 2979 pounds and because these have pounds here of course and that was built foundation stone 1854 so it's probably had some renovations since then but 1854 pretty amazing uh, site indeed love this spot of this over here look at this isn't that magnificent Here's day off Peter. Not sure if this is Peter here. Hey mate, how you doing? But uh, here it is with this horse. The day off Peter to honour the Clydesdale horse and to celebrate the centenary of the Angerston Agricultural Brewer, 1888 to 1988, 100 years. And there we have it. That's a pretty cool celebration. And then this will be a war memorial over here the amazing World War One. Again, a gift of the Angus family in 2001 was that plaque, and that was, of course, this town named after them, named after their great-great-grandfather, I guess. And then it's got World War Two on here as well. But look at this uh, statue sculpture here. Look at this. Amazing. And then I thought to myself, wow, am I in California? This looks like a 1930s Hollywood uh, house here. So I was sort of thrown out. But look at the uh, amazing view up here to this beautiful gum tree and that house on the hill, the stone house. Really nice. There's the Adelaide sign, 79 Ks. And then off to Light Pass, which is another part of the Barossa. And the CWA on the sign is the Country Women's Association. And that's their meeting room. I actually know that's Plunkett down there. The old Plunkett room from the 1950s, but pretty neat. It doesn't get much more Barossa than this. The um, stone driveway. And then you've got the vines here. And the classic cottage. Look at that. It's amazing what you spot in the park when you go out. And uh, today we've got this pink balloon here, someone's birthday party, I imagine, and this awesome, a bit windy here, awesome uh, gum tree, let's take a look at it up this way,
And if you're wanting somewhere with real flavour to come to, this is one of the most popular places in Angerston. This is the Barossa uh, Cheese Factory or Cheese Company. And they've got some pretty cool, and here's their open times. So if you want to check them out. Where's this taking place? Right here on the side, right here. Oh, okay. It's a live feed. Wow. It's pretty good. And a variety of products. These dill cucumbers look good. Mm -mm. But these are my addiction. I try not to buy these because they are just so good. And I'm sure you can agree with that. And then, of course, something else that Bross is famous for is. Um, extra virgin olive oil and people say that it is the best in the world so you need to come here and try and check it out and find out whether it is or not but um, a great store indeed in Angerston so how old is this cheese in here? some of that is two, three plus years old okay and what you can see um, but what we have in the shop is, new, is more than a year old from in there but they're our firm cheeses these are our socks we've got out today. Now, is this stuff selling all over the world or this Australia? No, Australia at the stage. Okay. But all over Australia. Because you're reasonably famous around here. Sure. Yeah. And there we have it. Cheese, cheese and more cheese. Wallace and Gromit would be proud. Well, we do a lot of uh, tastings. We do a lot of experiences. You can see the different we offer cheese and tea tastings, uh, halloumi, cooked halloumi on a platter, um, cheese and wine, um, Barossa's finest, four beautiful Barossa beverages including gin um, with four cheeses. Yeah. So they're all things that we offer here for people to come and enjoy. I say do. What's that? We both say do, we should enjoy. We do. It's we delicious. Do. We love it. So there it was, the Valley Cheese, the Barossa Valley Cheese Company. And I thought it was pretty good, actually. But it was so early in the morning, I wasn't in the mood to try any cheese, which was a bit square of me. Sorry about that. Uh, but I'm just hunting for a coffee. And this is pretty cool. This is uh, Italian cooking school. And uh, I think that's a pretty neat place to go as well. So there's a lot of character here. A lot of character to the Barossa Valley. And this is one of, well, I've been here a few times, uh, being around the area. And this is the... Uh, famous restaurant bar here and it's fantastic inside has a fireplace and so on so really really good and uh, maybe one day we'll go in there and take a look but uh, really nice indeed this is the original building back in the day established 1903 and then they've extended it to this restaurant as well and this undercover actually goes all the way down here so pretty good indeed a few tourists around today it's a work day so we're just walking through the main street and there's Hive Coffee over there and co-work space, so people working there as well, living the lifestyle, living the dream of the Barossa Valley and who wouldn't, I mean it's really nice here and why do I say that? Because I've come here quite a few times and really enjoyed it, the traditional pub here, the corner pub with the Cooper's sign and the old front door Angerston Hotel established 24th, so Christmas Eve uh, in 1846, wow what a piece of history. And you can see the old um, delivery here of the alcohol downstairs, the old entry door to the cellar. So this is it, my favorite building and in Angerston. Let's take a look. Sorry, how are you doing this morning? Let's take a look at the sign here. And there's this name Angus again popping up. Look at that. There's Angus turning up again. Uh, 1911 of Lindsay Park, Angerston. Now, Lindsay Park, from my recollection, is the horse racing stud, which is up the road from here, which has, uh, I think it's been sold now, but it's it's got a lot of race horses in it. And you can see this town hall is just a stunning. I'll take some photos from the back. Look at the old Art Deco door here. And the memorial 
entrance. Roll of Honor. 1939-1945. They shall not grow old. And look at all the German names here. Schubert, Schultz, Schick, Schiller. Huge. Ooh. 1913, Place of Public Entertainment Act, Regulations, uh, sound or noise to be made shall be guilty of an offence liable to a penalty not exceeding $200. I'm actually surprised it wasn't pounds then, but that's still an amazing list of things. Let's see if I can get into this town hall. And boy, it smells old, but that's not a bad thing. It gives it that real feel. Imagine the amount of dances that were held here back in the day. And I can hear my voice traveling around this dome-like sort of curved, curvature sort of um, ceiling. And then you've got the traditional timber floor all the way through. I don't see any high heel marks, but Maybe it's been touched up since then. And then look at this heavy velvet curtain here. Look at that. Wow, the one behind. Isn't that awesome? From 1911. Brings you back in time. So this is the first time I've come in here, but it is pretty neat. But my favorite building by far from the outside. Commemorating the Hall Extension, 1856. The Institute, which I think is a different building, unless it's this one. But if it's this one, this one says 1911. So I'm confused, but feel free to correct me. And Yolumba is the winery up the road, the family winery. So Mr. and Mrs. Pierce. P.S. Smith of Yolumba help fund the annex here. So I thought I'd take you up one of the side streets off the main street because quite often when you see tourist information you never see the actual street and so look at this these beautiful places a bit of a breeze picking up but look at these homes wow church that's a uniting church, so different from the Lutherans, so not a German one. But still looking rather spectacular. And a big block on the corner, see the white fence over here? It's got a bit hot, take my jacket off. Look at this old one. Look at this, that pulled up the part of the concrete here. Footpath. That'll be an oldie. Here it is, 1863. 1863, looks like, no, 1861. He was paid, the Reverend Gibsons was paid 200 pounds per annum in 1863. And uh, Chapel of Mance, or well, the church cost 2,162 pounds and the pipe organ 600. So the pipe organ, cost quite a lot percentage wise and again was the former Zion Lutheran so there you have it so it was a Lutheran church originally and look at that here we go again another one Angus the stone laid by J H Angus the squire JP 1878 look at this wow What I love about these places is it reminds us of um, Europe and reminds us of the European routes into Australia. As you can see, the, the look of the buildings, as you'd see in Europe. And this here is 
almost like salt damp erosion here. Uh, so salt comes up. I don't see any down here, but uh, but they do erode, and they have to refill this and repoint it. Indeed, I'm still looking for that coffee. I, I know the place I'm going to. It's just up here. It's called uh, Soul Zest, and I've just spotted it. It's over here. So we'll go and head over to that cafe. And this looks good too. This bakery cafe here. This is Angerston, a Roaring Forties Cafe in here. So if you love your food, this is the place to go for sure. Sunrise Bakery, always popular, really nice food. And uh, if you want a quick bite to eat, you can head there indeed. And there it is, the long-awaited uh, Angerston Latte at Zest Soul Cafe. So here we are in the place. As you can see, it's packed because it's a work day. But nevertheless, I'm about to devour. Not bad. Bad at all. So the top end of Angerston and a uh, fantastic spot. Love these trees and um, love the whole feel of the place. But it's really the experience of wine, coffee, bread, fresh bread, meals, eating out and just the ambience of what makes Barossa so popular. That's why people come from around the world but I mean the wine is internationally famous and all overseas and of course uh, just a beautiful spot there and this is where it all comes from. And it's no surprise that something so beautiful comes from something and a place so nice as this one. So it's been great to be out at Angston today and uh, enjoying the sights, sounds and the relaxation that this region brings to all of us. So if you get a chance to visit, make sure you do. If you come along, come again because I always visit here and uh, love it. So here it is, Angston. <laughs>